Hey there. Imagine you have a lemonade stand and you're trying to figure out why some days you make more money than others. Today, we're going to talk about a cool way to understand this called the farmer and French three-factor model. First, let's break it down. The first factor of the farmer and French model is the market risk. What is market risk? This is like the weather risk. On sunny days, more people come by your stand and you sell more lemonade. On rainy days, fewer people come by and you sell less. In the stock market, when the market is doing well, most stocks do well, like sunny days. When the market is down, most stocks don't do as well, like rainy days. Let's now look at the second factor of the farmer and French three-factor model. This second factor is called size. Imagine two friends with lemonade stands. One has a big stand with lots of employees and the other has a small stand they run by themselves. Sometimes the small stand makes more money because it's easier to manage. Other times, the big stand makes more because it can serve more people. In the stock market, small companies sometimes do better than big companies and vice versa. The third factor of the farmer and French three factors model is called value. Think about the prices of your lemonade. Sometimes you sell regular lemonade and sometimes you sell fancy lemonade with special ingredients. The fancy lemonade might not sell as well, but when it does, it sells for more money. The regular lemonade might sell more often, but for less money. In the stock market, some companies are considered value companies because their stock prices are low compared to their earnings. Others are growth companies because their stock prices are high but have the potential to grow a lot. So the farmer and French three-factor model helps us understand why a stock or our lemonade stand makes more money by looking at the market, whether the size of the company, stand size, and whether it's a value or growth company type of lemonade. Now let's talk about how this applies to a real world example. Meet our client, a boutique asset manager specializing in thematic investments in three sectors, technology, healthcare, and energy. Our client primarily invests in growth and small cap stocks. But are all his products equally exposed to growth and small cap companies? How does our client differentiate himself from peers in the market? How has his strategy evolved over time? To answer all these questions, we have implemented the farmer and French three-factor model. By using the farmer and French three-factor model, our client can now segment his products better because factor exposures differ from theme to theme. As you can see, each sector has different exposures to market risk, size, and value factors. The chart highlights that all themes have a positive exposure to the small cap factor, positive exposure to SMB, and to the growth factor, negative exposure to HML. However, the theme represented by the red bar is by far the most exposed to both small cap and growth stocks. Conversely, the theme represented by the light blue bar has almost zero exposure to the growth factor. The theme represented by a purple bar, has almost zero exposures to the size factor. Additionally, we can see that the red and the two green themes are leveraged bets on market risk, beta greater than one. This means they will tend to perform better than the market when it goes up and worse than the market when it goes down, everything else being equal. The theme in light blue is more defensive in terms of market risk, it will tend to rise less when the market goes up, but fall less when the market goes down, everything else being equal. This chart shows how each theme compares to selected peer funds. The farmer and French model helps highlight these differences, making it easier to understand the unique characteristics of each investment theme. Finally, this chart shows the historical evolution of factor exposures for a theme. Our tool also allows our client to visualize the evolution of factor exposures of his theme through time as compared to the factor exposures of a selected peer fund. 
it helps our clients to see how the themes have changed over time and provides insights into their future potential. So, by implementing the Farmer and French three-factor model, our client can better explain and manage their thematic investments. It helps them stand out in a crowded market and offers their investors a clearer picture of what they're investing in. Thanks for watching, and I hope you now have a better understanding of how this model works. Whether you're managing a portfolio or running a lemonade stand, 